You want to come help? You want to come help? Come on. Come on. Here you go. Good girl. You want to see what's in the fountain, do you? Yeah? But first, where are you going? Come back here. Come on. Oh, you're like, there's no food in there. But if I had food in here, you'd be up here with your nose down the tin, wouldn't you? Come here. Come on. What's this? Come on. Here we come. Put your nose in the tin. What do you see? What do you see? Hey, kia ora. Hello, and Bronze. Coming to you live from Mesa in Arizona with Zephy, who has now run because there's no food in the fun tin. Um, <laughs> she's going to go play with her cow. Um, It's a stuffed toy, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so giddy with fun this morning. Um, where are we? We're in Mesa, Arizona. Welcome to a super fantastic sparkling start to your fun Friday. Yes, it is that day of the week where we get to talk about the fun activity we did this week and we pull out the fun tin and we get to pull out another activity. But before we get to the fun tin and before we get to what we did last week, we have a, what should I show? We have a, a very important, very important day today. Well, it is in New Zealand because, and because we're a day behind, I get to celebrate it a day early here. And then I get to send them another message tomorrow to say happy American wedding anniversary. But I just want to say a quick heartfelt, if I see if I can do this without breaking up. Um, today is in New Zealand is my parents' 56th wedding anniversary. And I have to say that these, these two people have been such a huge role model to me and my brothers. Um, I've got two younger brothers. I'm the oldest, the only girl. Um, yes, my poor mother. <laughs> but through everything, they are, they have been there for us kids um, through so much stuff. Um, and they are still there today for their grandkids and their great-grandkids. Um, this couple has such a servant's heart. And it has been such a blessing to... Um, to be one of their kids and to be able to have such two amazing parents that um, I've been, have been a role model for me. They've always kept us together as a family. Um, we moved a lot. We vacationed a lot together. <laughs> we were always, always going somewhere during one of the school vacations. Um, but um, they have led by, they've always, always led by example. They walk the walk and talk the talk. Um, they're not, um, they're not do as I say, not do as I do. They lead by example. They really, really do. And I am so blessed to, um, to be their daughter. Um, so I just want to say happy anniversary, mum and dad. Whew. May you have a super fantastic sparkling day full of love and laughter. And may you have many, 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 many more years together filled with love, laughter, and an abundance of blessings. I love you guys. Okay, now let's see if I can compose myself. So we had, so that's a really good fun way to start a fun day. Um, and tomorrow I get to wish them a happy U.S. wedding anniversary, um, which I'm kind of excited about. <laughs> probably did this out of order. Probably should have done that last because it would have been a good note to finish on. Yeah, I don't know. We'll do it again at the end. So um, I have this really cool. Because my thing last week was color. This is my coloring book. It's art therapy. An institutional coloring book. It's the only one I have with me in the RV. I do have others. Um, I have some that have some very interesting words in them. <laughs> so you will never ever see a picture of those being of those colored. Those ones get done in private. <laughs> but it's very creative how some people can be with some words. Let me tell you that. But this is the one that I am currently working on. This is my I love owls. Owls and eagles. Can you see that? This is what I'm currently working on, but I have made a discovery while doing this. You can see how tiny some of those little bits are and intricate it is. This is a strain on the eyes. I do not have good lighting in this RV for coloring. I have discovered that. Um, I have actually sat there with, where is it? Oh, it's up over there. With my flashlight that has LED bulbs in it, shining it on this thing so I can see some of these little, little pieces in here. It is one where you need a bright light on it, and um, I think I might be getting to the point where I'm, although I got, that's the weird thing, is I can sit and I can read without any issues very clearly, you know, I can pull out, I don't have a book handy, I can pull out a book and sit down here on the table in front of me and do that fine, but when it comes to coloring, 
it gets a little swimmy with those lines in there. Maybe it's because they're so tiny and they're so intricate and stuff. But um, this book's got some very detailed, um, intricate pa um, patterns in here. It's a, I'm not sure if it's meant to be. It says art therapy and inspirational coloring kit. So I'm not supposed, and it says relaxing, inspiring, calm, anti-stressing, drawing and coloring. Yes, I agree to all of that with coloring. But, you know, this picture that's on the cover is actually in the book as well. And you can see how detailed it is. You saw with my owl how detailed it is. And then you get pictures like this one. Okay, this one's a little better because the, the, but, um, and I'm sort of like sitting here and I'm like thinking, okay, it gets kind of frustrating when you can't really see some of the lines in here because they're so tiny. So, um. As much as I love some of the pictures that are in this book, I'm just sort of like, yeah, I don't think my eyes are up to, oh my gosh, this one's even worse. Look at this one. Look at how, this is on the four corners of the page, which gives me room to do whatever I want in the middle. So I can do a drawing in the middle of that. But look how intricate and detailed that one is. It's like, oh my gosh, that was just driving me bonkers and nuts and everything else. So, yes. Oh, I've got some nice chess pieces. Oh, this is better. I've got chess pieces. I could do those. I just saw the owl and I thought, I'm in, I'm in with the owls, I'm in with the owls. But anyway, so that was my chore this week was coloring. And I had a great fun doing it, even though I was getting a little frustrated at some of those little tiny, tiny details that I need. I actually had to pull my phone out and, you know, put the camera on and blow it up on the thing so I could. <laughs> and now I know how some, how some surgeons may feel when they're having to look through the microscope, microscope to do surgery and stuff. I was, sometimes <laughs> I was sitting here, I kid you not, I had my phone like this, I had it on camera. I was blowing it up on camera and I was looking at the screen and coloring with my color on some of those pieces because they were so tiny. Oh my gosh. But um, in the end, it was fun. I do love to color. I do love to color. And there, and there are times I will sit down with pieces of paper and just sort of like, just doodle some weird design, crossing pieces over and again and, you know, doing swirly, giggly things. And then I just go back and I just color them in. So there are times that I do that as well. Okay. So we've got the the fun tin out. Let's see how many times we're going to have to draw today to find one that we can do because some can be done at only certain times of the year. Others need specialized equipment, which is not here and not available. And some have already done. So let's see. All right, let's try this piece here. It's on this piece of paper. Bake something new. Well, I can't do that right now because my oven doesn't have any propane to power it so that's going to have to go back in let's see I always like trying something new in the kitchen I always like to try it with the instapot but then I don't have baking ingredients with me right now either that one I would rather do with an oven because then I know what the oven does make paper planes with, and see which flies the furthest <laughs> you remember doing this thing make paper planes see which one flies the furthest Oh my gosh, that's going to be my one for this week. Okay, so today's date is 5th of March, 2021. Okay, so this week we're going to be, I'm going to write it down in the book. If you haven't seen, I have my little journal book. Oops, hang on. Let me get on it. My Life Adventures. And in here I do a page per day. So at the top, it's got these little... It's got a little memo thing, a date. So up there, the memo thing, I put what day number it is. I put the date for the day. And then I um, make paper planes. And see. That's going to be fun because I did this one other time. And with Zeppi in the RV. And I would stand over here in the doorway leading to the hallway. And I would toss it down the thing. And she'd go flying after them. It's so funny flies the furthest. Okay, so that's what we're doing this week. We are making paper planes and seeing which one flies the furthest. That is going to be a fun activity. That is going to be fun. And um, and we're also going to finish off again with... Um, okay, so they go back into there. And we'll give it another shake, mix them up, and then we'll get another shake next week when I pull it out again and a few more shakes. <sighs> It goes into the box down. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna move the tissues. I said something. Oh, hang on, we're good. Yeah. Put that way up. Now 
making sure I'm not putting out. Um, so yes, so that's it for today. That's our fun activity this week is to see um, what style of paper planes I come up with and see which one flies the furthest down my RV. Um, it's going to be fun with Seffy, like I said, it'll be fun with Seffy. Um, maybe I should get some neighbours in on that one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the week goes. Um, because I've got a very busy week coming up next week. Oh my gosh, my week is so busy next week and I can't tell you about it. Um, except to say that I've got a busy week coming up next week. But anyway, I'm out of here. i got to go um, have breakfast, get some work done. And I have some training today. And uh, what else have I got on today? I've got some other stuff on today. I'll have to go look at my calendar. But anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling fun Friday. What fun things are you going to be doing this week? Do you have your own fun bowl tin container um, that you pull things out of each week? And if you do, what um, what fun things will you be pulling out today? Let know in the comments below what fun activities you're going to be doing this week, so that we can we might you might even put something on there. I'm just like. I don't think that's in my tin, and we'll just write a piece of paper and throw it in. Because I'm always looking for new activities to throw in there. Um, I know I've got over 60 of them, so that's over a year. Um, but yeah, have a super fantastic Sparkling Fun Friday. Let us know what fun activities you're being. Do my parents have a super fantastic Sparkling 56th wedding anniversary? Mwah. Love you guys, and we will catch you all later. Um, we'll catch you later this afternoon. Hey, Kwanada.